Last month, we added Outriders and Call of Duty Warzone to the list. And today, we have more exciting games to announce. Dying 1983 is the second game in the Dying franchise from the Chinese developer Netcom. It's a Japanese-inspired horror-themed puzzle game. Its stark and frightening world is brought to life with RTX ray tracing and DLSS. Let's take an exclusive look at Dying 1983 with RTX on. ジンタイ、Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege is one of the most popular esports games in the world, with over 70 million players worldwide. In March, Rainbow Six Gamers gained the competitive edge of NVIDIA Reflex. Today we are announcing that RTX Gamers will get even more performance with the addition of DLSS. Let's take a look. New Zealand-based developer Rocketworks was founded by Dean Hall, best known as the creator of DayZ. Their highly anticipated new game, Icarus, is a stunning multiplayer survival game set on a savage alien planet. Today we are announcing that Icarus will come alive with RTX Ray Trace Global Illumination and DLSS when the initial chapter, First Cohort, launches this fall. Let's take a look at some exclusive new footage. Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of the most critically acclaimed games of all time. With more than 275 perfect scores, 175 Game of the Year awards, and more than 37 million copies sold to date, we are happy to announce that Rockstar Games will be adding DLSS to Red Dead Redemption 2. Coming soon, every RTX gamer will see a free boost in performance. VR is taking off. VR game revenue is up 70% on Steam in 2020. The installed base of PC-compatible VR headsets is expected to exceed 30 million in the next five years. With almost twice the resolution of a desktop monitor and unforgiving FPS requirements, VR is very demanding on the GPU. And RTX is now coming to VR. No Man's Sky, the popular open-world space game, now features DLSS. VR gamers can soon play with ultra graphics at 90 frames per second. Wrench, a mechanic simulator where you repair and maintain race cars in VR, now features RTX ray tracing and DLSS. And the VR survival shooter Into the Radius 
adds DLSS to boost performance and keep you immersed in this dystopian world. 75% of GeForce gamers play esports. We invented NVIDIA Reflex for them. The difference between winning and losing is a matter of milliseconds. On average, Reflex reduces system latency by 20 milliseconds. It gets the PC out of the way so a gamer's real skill can come to play. And gamers love it. More than 90% of them compete with Reflex On. Today we are announcing even more NVIDIA Reflex games. Gaijin's War Thunder, the most popular air, land, and sea battle arena with over 40 million gamers. Naraka Blade Point, the highly anticipated battle royale slasher from 24 Entertainment. In the last closed beta, it broke into Steam's top five games played. Tencent Games Crossfire HD is a remastered version of the original with over 560 million gamers in China. And Escape from Tarkov, the intense survival shooter from Battlestate Games, is one of the top 10 most played competitive shooters. Coming soon, 12 of the top 15 competitive shooters will feature NVIDIA Reflex. Let's take a look at Reflex in Escape from Tarkov. For serious competitors, reducing system latency starts by measuring it from end to end. This requires an ecosystem of partners. Last year, we introduced the Reflex Latency Analyzer, a measurement tool built directly into gaming monitors. Today, we are adding Lenovo, ViewSonic, and EVGA. 13 partners are offering a total of 15 monitors and 21 compatible mice. Now, more gamers can simply plug a mouse into their monitor and accurately measure end-to-end -end latency from click to photon. Almost 10 years ago, we introduced our Kepler architecture and created a new class of laptops for gamers. While the market reception was great, these laptops were large, bulky, and had limited battery life, more transportable than portable. In 2016, 